war, violence, and persecution have forced more than 80 million people around the world to flee their homes, leaving everything behind to save themselves and their families. Refugees must begin their lives anew. But for so many, the pandemic has wiped out their livelihoods, led to stigmatization and vilification, and exposed them disproportionately to the virus. At the same time, refugees once again demonstrated their invaluable contribution to their adoptive societies as essential and frontline workers. We have a duty to help refugees rebuild their lives. COVID-19 has shown us that we can only succeed if we stand together. On World Refugee Day, I call on communities and governments to include refugees in health care, education and sport. We heal together when we all get the care we need. We learn together when we are all given the chance to study. And we shine together when we play as a team and respect everyone. On World Refugee Day, I commend the countries that have welcomed refugees. But we need more support from states, the private sector, communities and individuals if we are to move together towards a more inclusive future free of discrimination. The refugees I have met have shown me what it means to rebuild your own life while summoning the strength to enrich the lives of others. As I commissioned for refugees for 10 years, I was inspired by their courage, resilience and determination. I thank refugees and displaced persons across the world and reiterate my personal admiration for what they have taught us all about the power of hope and healing. This World Refugee Day and every day, we stand together with refugees. Music has a special place in every country, nation and society around the world. It moves and inspires us. It brings back old memories and helps us forge new ones. Music can even help heal the invisible wounds of trauma and suffering. It is therefore an especially important outlet for the more than 80 million people around the world who have been forced from their homes, their families and their friends. Whether musicians or audience members, music can help the displaced connect with their countries and places of origin, even while in exile, and equally build ties with their host communities in places where they have sought safety and refuge. The power of music thus lies not just in the notes on a page, but in how it brings people together, something so needed in a world that is increasingly divided. Friends, today is World Refugee Day, the day when we celebrate refugees and their fortitude and renew our commitment to protect, assist and find solutions to their plight. I can think of few ways to better symbolize our solidarity with them than through a musical tribute. I'm therefore deeply grateful that the United Nations Chamber Music Society has chosen to honor them again this year with this concert and hope to be able to celebrate with you again in person in the near future. Thank you. Dear colleagues and friends from around the world, I'm honored to greet you today for this special event in honor of World Refugee Day. This is a day and a cause that is very close to my heart. And today, through the power of music, I'm delighted that we'll have the opportunity to celebrate refugees and laud their resilience, their strength, and their courage. This year's theme, Together We Heal, learn and shine, focuses on the power of inclusion. The shared experience of the COVID-19 pandemic shows us that we will only have inclusion when we stand together and support each other. The past year has been tough for each and every one of us, but it has been especially challenging for those who are forced to flee from war, violence, or persecution. Many refugees have been disproportionately hurt and hit by the pandemic. They are frequently excluded from social and economic safety nets. They lack access to even basic health care and are often targets of stigmatization and xenophobia. 
Yet millions of refugees also continue to be the unsung heroes of this crisis. They are essential workers who show up every day, volunteering in their communities and giving back wherever they can. We know this has always been true, and given a chance, refugees contribute to stronger, safer, and more vibrant communities and societies. Today's musical program, Songs of Five Continents, reminds us that wherever we are in the world, we are connected as one human family. It is especially notable that the beautiful repertoire is composed and performed by classically trained Syrian musicians. I will con conclude by expressing my appreciation to the UN Chamber Music Society of the United Nations Staff Recreation Council for organizing this beautiful concert for World Refugee Day. Thank you. Greetings. My name is Brenda Van Gova, founder of the UN Chamber Music Society. Today's World Refugee Day concert is in honor of every person who has been forced to flee their home due to war, violence, or persecution. On this day, may we be reminded of the resilience of refugees who have a great deal to contribute to societies that welcome them. On World Refugee Day, let us remember and cherish these valuable contributions. I would like to thank the extraordinary musicians of the UN Chamber Music Society, and especially the artists for helping to make this concert possible. Jordan is home to hundreds of thousands of refugees, and on this day, this concert is especially in honor of them. On this occasion, we are proud to open the concert with music featuring the beautiful Jordanian singer Lean al Faki. We are also delighted to present the world premiere of the Songs of Five Continents for the UN Chamber Music Society, composed by Yuko Uebayashi. Finally, we are honored to feature beautiful repertoire performed and as well as composed by classically trained Syrian musicians. May their music inspire us all. Music symbolizes love and peace and holds the power to highlight the plight of the refugees. I hope that you will enjoy this concert. I thank you. Thank you. 
بعد أم الحانون 